Good morning, friends. I have been up for, I don't know, maybe a half hour. Haven't put any makeup on, haven't done my hair, still in my nightgown, but I thought since I just made the bed, I would show you around. Now, the house is still not in order, but I thought I would show you how it's coming along. I know you probably don't expect perfection from me, so I'm going to turn the camera around and show you uh, the new house, at least my half of it. Carol Ann's still sleeping. Um, if you haven't already subscribed, I would appreciate it if you would do that. And if you enjoy this kind of content from me, please give the video a thumbs up. I always forget to mention those things. So, all right, I'm going to turn this camera around and show you around my half of the house. Let's start in the bedroom. Tink is out and about this morning. The cats are really adjusting well to this new house. I think because, you know, no other animals have lived here and it's just kind of an even slate for everybody. And then here's Oreo. Oreo, can you say hello? Hello. Oreo. She's being a stinker. Oreo. <laughs> okay, so here's my bedroom. My parents gave me this beautiful rug, which I put down in the center of the room. And I centered, well, sort of, kind of centered my bed, but the window is not centered. So that looks a little wonky, maybe, but um, I do like the way that everything fits. I do have litter boxes in my room because I don't want them in the living room. I've got cat trees on either side of my bed, which didn't leave any room for my little side table, but that's okay because I can use the edge of the cat tree. I have a lamp in the corner and then my dresser that came from the other house and my TV. And then at the foot of my bed, I have this chest that used to belong to my grandmother. It opens up. I've got blankets and things in there. And then another uh, two cat beds. The cats are <laughs> clearly the most important in this house. They, you know, get all the good spots. Um, let me see if I can get Oreo to turn around and pay attention to us without letting you see our litter boxes. <laughs> there she is. Meow. Good, good morning. Good morning. Can you say hello? Can you say hello? All right. Well, that's Miss Oreo. And Simba is right there eating. Now, my closet <laughs> is a mess. <laughs> I have just kind of everything in here. All of my Etsy supplies, my clothes. I don't want to turn the light because it's pretty bad. But I do have a closet. And this is a work in progress. And then I do have my um, cabinet that I got uh, when I did a sponsorship. I can't remember the company, but that's come in handy. And then some other YouTube and Etsy supplies are on top for now. And then here is my lighting and a fan. And then coming out of my room to the right, we have cat and dog food. <laughs> The robot is uh, going around the house and vacuuming Carolee and gave me one and it's been working out really well. So coming into the living room, we have our cat and dog food. I have two chairs and then this center table that I got off of Amazon that has a bunch of plugs on it so I can plug in my coffee. It's got USB ports for, um, you know, phone charging and my Apple Watch, which I am not wearing. But I have these two burgundy chairs that I got off of Facebook Marketplace a while ago. And I want to say I got them for maybe, maybe $50 each or $75. It was a really good deal. And then we've got the front door here. This is where the little shark robot lives. This is a Papasan chair that uh, my friends gave me that I'm renting from. That is super comfortable. If you've never had a Papasan chair before, they're amazing. 
I do have a window unit in here. We already had window units from the old place. The air conditioning here has been really having a hard time keeping up with it being so hot. And so we put in one of the window units here and then Carolyn has one in her room as well. I have my corner lamp and then this standing lamp. I've realized in this place, I don't have the lighting needs that I did in my old place. Uh, we've got really good lighting in here. Here's Simba. Hi, Simba. Can you say good morning? He's not much of a talker, talker but he's uh, quite the handsome little devil. And then we've got the living room TV. Oh, I guess you can see my pajamas. It's like a little t-shirt dress. Hello, people. And so this is what was in the living room before. Carol Ann got another TV for her room. And then down here, I have kind of my Chewy Shrine. I have his pictures and his toys. I need to, that's his ashes. I need to organize it a little bit better. And then, of course, we have more cat beds. And then the cats really like sleeping in the Papasan chair. All right, turning you around this way, this is how we addressed this huge doorway. We got this baby gate from Amazon. Let me shut Carolyn's, <laughs> shut the curtains to her area because hers is a mess. So that has worked out really well. It's a great way to separate the space. We have a cat tree here and one on the other side. So the cats just hippity hop over and that's been working. Have some uh, storage shelves here that I used in the other house for my Cricut and my printer that I haven't found the need for yet. And then here is my office space. So I'm down to one desk. The other desk I gave to my cleaning ladies. And so I got this uh, standing desk, which I told you guys about before. I've got two monitors for work and then these architect lights, which really help to light. I have my coffee warmer, of course. And then this is the walking pad. I've hurt my knee. <laughs> I'm in a brace right now. I slipped and fell in the mud when we were moving. So I haven't been able to get uh, any use out of that yet, to speak of at least. And then here is, this was what my TV was on in my bedroom in the old house. And I'm just going to use that for YouTube and Netsy because I have my personal laptop here. Whereas this is my work, my work stuff. So this is my, my work area. And then we do have this, uh, you know, window that connects the living space to the kitchen. And right now I just have my change jar that I'm saving with um, an extra TV that I'll probably end up getting rid of because I don't need it. And then moving on into the kitchen, we have the shark robot going. I've got a trash can to my left and then my refrigerator to the right. And I have all of my important dates on here. Carol Ann has her keys and then she, I gave her this key ring. This was that drawerly uh, sponsorship where we got the little pictures of Chewy, my keys. And then down below we have some other you know, personal things on the refrigerator. And then here is the, and this is a mess. It's not clean right now. Um, we've got one counter here, the stove, and then this is a coffee bar, coffee bar that I got off a of Facebook marketplace for 50 bucks. And it is perfect for what we need. And then this is the sink. And I just want to tell you that yesterday, I had all of this cleaned up because I knew I was going to film and then Carolyn put a bunch of junk on there and she bought this little ice maker and now it is on my counter. Shame on her. I'm going to have to get on to her this morning. So the sink area is a mess. Under here, I've got all my cleaning supplies. Up here, we've got all of our dishes. Um, my friends that we're renting from gave us this little white shelving unit so that's being used for spices this shelf came out of the laundry room in the old house that's got all of my canned goods snacks kind of larger 
uh, appliances and just some odds and ends that I don't really have a home for. And then over here, we have all of the big appliances um, and pots and pans that we use pretty often. So crock pot, toaster, electric skillet, that kind of good stuff. And then back there are some smaller appliances that um, we don't use as often, like the, um, oh, what did it, like a hand blender and waffle maker. So that's that. Now, I didn't mention, but down here I have some pots and pans and all the baking stuff for the oven. And then up here we have all of our food. All right, let's move into the bathroom. <laughs> So our bathroom, we have a lot of dirty clothes. We gotta go to the, oh, it's Squeakers. Hello, Squeaks, good morning. So we've got quite a bit on the counter here. And then we have, don't look at that, our shower area. And then we have this over the toilet thing here where we've got our washcloths. We are using a bidet, which I love. And so let's try to not show that stuff. Hi guys. <laughs> um, so we've got all of our stuff here, but this is just kind of a mess, a lot of laundry and, and stuff here. So nothing to see here, folks. All right. Well, that is everything, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. Let me know what you think of our new place. I absolutely love my half. And it just kind of gave me an idea that, you know, when I build a house of my own, this half of the house is perfect for me. Kitchen little office, a living area, bathroom, and a bedroom. This is perfect. So let me know what you think in the comments, and I look forward to chatting with you down below. Bye, guys.